This one's a super quick video just to show you about uh, the lead mapping. So earlier on, you would have uh, installed the Pardot package uh, and that would have created certain fields um, on certain objects. So if I'll go to the lead object, for example, I go to fields and relationships. Now, what we're talking about here is the lead conversion. So we only need to go to the lead object because once this um, lead object gets converted, it's going to go into an account, an opportunity and a contact. And all we're doing here is saying, if first name is filled in, send it to this field here, just as a dumb example. So this button here is where you want to go, map lead fields. Now there's something really important I need to stress about this. Um, and I'll, I'll touch on that in a second. But what you need to do is go through a map um, all of the new fields that have been being created, really. So I'm just going to do that now. It'll be two seconds. Okay, so this is mapped. And just make sure that you're on the contact tab here um, when you map them across, because I was on the account. Um, so make sure you're on the contact field. Map the fields across. And you want to map all, all of the Pardot ones. So Google Analytics. Um, these look like custom fields, so we're not going to touch them. Um, and then the rest of them are called Pardot. So Pardot campaign, Pardot comments, and so on. Um, this is a custom field, ignore that one. The most, the most important thing to remember here is to not populate this Pardot URL. I don't know why it's a thing. I don't know why this is an option to choose, but do not, do not map that Pardot URL field because it can break um, the associations. So please, please, please do not map uh, this Pardot URL field to a Pardot URL contact field, it will break things. Um, so everything else can be mapped, just not this one. 